Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing a taste test from Malaysia. He has generously sent me this package of Malaysian treats. This is from Asian Delights. Food and snacks delivered worldwide. Because there were so many things just within that little package, I'm going to divide this up into two taste tests. So this will be part one. Well, obviously. <laughs> so let's do a Malaysian taste test. I'm going to start off with these. There's three little tiny things in here and they're called Hitto. No, that's all I can read on it. It is actually Hitto. Mystery flavor number one. What is, oh, what is, is this gum? There is blueness in there. Look at that. Is it gum? Oh, it's lovely and minty. Mmm. This peppermint flavour, really refreshing. Is it turning into gum? No, it's not. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's a really lovely flavoured chew and it's got a lovely refreshing spurt liquid of peppermint inside it. Mmm. Love it. I should have finished. No, you know what? I'm going to try these at the end just in case they're both mint flavoured ones. Because it feels wrong to start on mint. A little bit difficult when you don't know what you're trying. So let's try this one next. And it is Double Decker Mini. And they are prawn crackers. Snack Parisa Udang. Oh, they're very light and airy. Mmm, yeah, no, they smell like prawn. Oh, mmm. Oh, yum! I love the crunchy texture of these. They're just super light and airy. They do have a prawn flavor in it, but not like leftover prawn from the seafood market sort of smell and taste to it. Mmm. Oh, I love them. Mmm, mmm. Highly recommend them. They're really delicious. And if you really like something with a nice little prawn flavor that isn't overwhelming, yum. This one's called London Roll. It's a pandan flavored cake. Okay, well, I do love the flavor of pandan. Not something we get here regularly, but I love it. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, I love the smell of this. Such a unique smell, lovely and sweet though. Oh, how pretty is it? And it's got a cream filling in there as well. Love it. Oh, I love that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. For a little pre-packaged cake, it's got a lot of moisture in there. It's not dry or anything like that. And then that cream filling in the middle is pretty sweet, but really good. And it goes really nicely with that delicate pandan flavor all through the sponge cake. This is something that I would definitely eat again. Delicious. Next up, we have this one and it's called Pika. This is a pizza corn stick. So this is a little bit like those Japanese ones. Is it going to have a hole in the middle of it as well? Let's find out. Oh, it does too. So it looks like a massive chisel. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. It has a pizza flavor in there, which doesn't taste weird and fake, which some pizza flavors can do. The texture of the corn snack makes it lovely and crispy, and it's got a nice cheese flavor all the way through it. I think this one's delicious as well. And the syrup, I'm loving that one. Bicker, chicken flavored snacks. Oh, once again, they are really light and airy. Look at, oh, seriously, see ya. Oh, see ya. Oh, that's thunder. Mmm. Mmm, the flavour in these ones is pretty good as well. You know, oh, you know what's interesting about these chicken snacks is they actually taste a little bit spicy. And it doesn't say anywhere here that they're spicy, but I swear I can taste spice. How, why doesn't it say spicy chicken? It says here Parisa Ayam, whatever that means. But yeah, oh, they're like a spicy chicken flavour. They're quite crispy and crunchy. Mmm, nice little snacks. Very unique. Mmm. <laughs> oh no 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 there is definitely spice in here but also there's a little tiny hint of sugar in it as well but a very nice snack that you'd definitely be happy eating i've got three of these and so i hope they're good obviously they are because they've put three in them now this is interesting they've got a coffee flavored one they say that they're potato chips or crisp potato crisp and then they've got a why is there a coffee flavored one? We'll start off with this one here, which looks like it's a prawn flavor. You can see little images of prawns there on the front. These are from Win 2 Potato Crackers. Seafood flavor, this one is. Oh, I don't want to break it. It's bizarre that there's potato chips and there's only a few in a packet. This is an interesting way. Wait, what's going on? How bizarre. Look. Pick a chip, any chip. Mmm. 
Okay, mm -hmm. this one's a lot more seafoody tasting than the other one. It's not bad. No, it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it says potato crisp, but it tastes more like a savory biscuit. And once again, there's a tiny touch of sweetness in there. It's like the biscuit factory and crisp factory's gotten together, and this is what they've created. You probably get just as many chips in here as a regular one though if you look at the size of those so if you got a little packet of chips then it would probably be the same amount that one's okay not amazing but okay but i've got two more flavors to go this one here which is it's from wintu again it's a potato oh look 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 it says here potato crackers i don't know why i didn't see that before what flavor is this oh it's got vegetables on it's got to be yeah guess what <laughs> vegetable flavor it says it on there Oh, look at the little speckledies in this. It's okay. It's not overwhelmingly great. I wouldn't necessarily get this again. Interesting though. Interesting that it's a combination between a potato chip and a cracker. It just tastes fairly plain. Mm, I can't necessarily say, well, taste those vegetables in it. Vegetables are sort of been mushed out and spat out like this into the crisp or the cracker. So far, I like the seafood one the best. And it just had more flavor. This one's interesting because it is a coffee flavored potato crisp cracker. Oh, this one's a little bit broken. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's got sugar on it. Wow. Oh, it smells like coffee, which is great. Now I'm just dropping them on the floor. No, I was going to say, I think it's smaller in diameter, but it's not. It's just that it's all broken. So let's try it. Favourite. Mm -hmm. I like that it's light and thin and has a lovely coffee flavour through it. And that little bit of sugar on the top there really makes it. This is my favourite one out of all of these. Delicious. Mmm, mmm. So let's try these other two flavors in this Hitto's light blue one. And yeah, well, once again, it's got this blue filling in the middle there, like a squishy liquid filling. Yeah, that's mint as well, but it's a more subtle mint. Mm, tastes a little bit like dentist mint. It's nicer. I quite like it. I reckon this last Hito is going to be spearmint. They're really hard to open these little packages. Oh yeah, got it. So as you can see, it's got that splash of green in the middle. Spearmint. Mmm, really nice. Mm -hmm. These Hitos are actually quite delicious. I like these more than the mints we get here. There's something about them that's a little bit more refreshing, probably because it's got that squishy center in the middle. And I almost thought it was going to be gum, but it's not. It's better than gum because you actually get to eat something. Mmm. For anyone that's really into mint sweets, I recommend these Hitos. They're delicious. Really good. Who would have thought I'd get so excited about a mint? My favorite one's a spearmint because I do like spearmint over the other mints and I don't know why that is. It's just a favorite. I just tried on a chip. Thank you so much, John, for sending me this little package of Malaysian treats. It was so fun to try and so many unique little surprises in there. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. And make sure you tune in for part two, because look at all of these amazing things. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you next time. Bye. I should have put these down before I tried to wave.